Welcome out there to people that are, have been searching and just looking to possibly uh, use mandolin to some of the more contemporary worship songs. Uh, my name is Steve and I'm a music teacher here in the Camas, Vancouver, Washington area. And a lot of times when I lead worship at the last uh, 30 or 40 years, uh, we kind of hear the same instruments over and over, electric guitars, scent patches, Ableton's really popular right now. But a lot of times we're looking for a new and different sound. And especially if you're trying to break into the worship community and like there's dozens of guitar players all over town. Well, why not think about playing mandolin or a five-string banjo? So what I did today is I just gave you a brief little snippet of uh, uh, this Raise Alleluia from Bethel. Uh, very simple to do, and I didn't do anything that is out of the ordinary other than open two position chords. And the thing I just wanna encourage you about is it's always about playing on your fingertips. And even if you have your hand back here, or if you have to go like here, it's all about getting on your fingertips and staying in time. Now, the amazing thing, as we get, uh, for some of us worship leaders who have been doing this for 40, 50 years, we may get this sense of feeling like we're uh, being aged out. But that's not the case. Um, Every generation commends another, and, and sometimes we just have to see how we can raise and support um, the next generation of worship leaders. Uh, and a lot of times it'll be playing and offering up a service of a musical instrument that not everybody knows. Uh, I have a pedal steel right here in the room, and I've been playing that. Um, a lot of times, too, it's just uh, there might be uh, men's, women's, breakfast in the morning at a church where you can bring your mandolin or a guitar. But the interesting thing about a mandolin is that when you bring it into a church service, the nature of the tuning, the strings, uh, it just changes the atmosphere of worship. And again, um, you can go online, uh, find, um, just start off with two finger chords, like, you know, um, simple like this. Then eventually the bar chords will come in time. This mandolin here is a Gooden um, A8 electric mandolin. It's very easy to play. It's active electronics. Um, I run it through uh, uh, a lot of my amplifiers and effects, Strymon Timeline, uh, Source Audio Ventress, and I might do a, a video of that later. Uh, just to see how uh, banjos and mandolins work in the electronics. Um, the thing that a lot of my uh, students aren't sure about it was with the rhythm and strumming patterns. Like how do you, you know... strumming and let me drop this down a little bit see my hand here we're gonna go well what doesn't change is the ability to um, stay in time and know where the band is playing if you have a click track in your in ears and doing that as well so um, the last thing I just want to uh, encourage you is um, don't be afraid to listen to the greats, Marty Stewart, um, Sam Bush, uh, Chris Steele from Nickel Creek. You and I, we may never ever uh, reach that level of ability, but if you're a beginner or, or a guitar player like myself and you have a decent mandolin and a decent singing voice, uh, there are a ton of opportunities uh, to play mandolin, and even if you go outside of the Sunday morning uh, church realm, uh, don't hesitate to get out there and and play the instrument and learn how to do that. So what I'd like to do is if you have any comments, feel free. If there's some songs that you would like to see me um, go a little deeper into uh, as far as arrangements, um, give me some suggestions in the comment, and as always, uh, 
feel free to subscribe to this channel. This is probably video number 12. Um, and again, I also offer uh, private music instruction via Skype, FaceTime, and I'm based in the West Coast. So just keep that in mind as well. But again, thank you so much for uh, tuning in and hope to see you next time around.